It's important to understand that not all affairs are the same. In fact, there are four classes of an affair. Class number one is what we would call the one night stand. Now, a one night stand is simply, I've gone away on a business trip or I've gone on vacation and I've gone either overseas or within my own country, but at a distance far from my home. And so this whole mentality, when I'm away, I can play, and when I come back, I'll slip right back into my normal you know, day-to-day -day routine is problematic. And we've found that there have been countless people who have had physical attractions for strangers and have engaged in one-night stands. There was nothing more than just the sex, but yet and still there was an affair that was committed, and that creates a vulnerability within the relationship, and that's one class of an affair. But the second class of an affair is what we would define as emotional entanglement. This is very different. Usually you become emotionally entangled with someone who you consider a friend, someone you've known for a period of time. So once again, it could be someone that you work with. Have you ever heard of the term uh, office spouse, office wife, office husband? It's someone that you have a fam familiarity with someone that you may work next to their office or you may have cubicles that are next to each other. And what happens is over the course of time, you transition in your comfort level because even though initially it's about work and tasks and duties, because you're spending eight to 10 hours every single day with this particular person, you're getting to know who they really are. You're sharing your weekend experiences. You're sharing your thoughts and your feelings. And intimacy is developing over the course of time. Intimacy simply means into me see. You're allowing that person to see inside your heart, to see inside your soul, to see inside your mind. And there's a connection, an emotional connection that's established. And over the course of time, though you may have looked at them as a platonic person, now there's a subtle attraction. There's an emotional uh, a connection that you cannot shake. And so now you become entangled and enwrapped in them emotionally. Now we also say that when it comes to affairs, they never begin in the bedroom, they end in the bedroom. And so there are several steps that take place before you even get to the sex. And usually with emotional affairs, it happens just like that. Because there are blurred lines, slowly but surely, attraction is built up and you wind up becoming physical with that person. But not all emotional affairs are sexual. There's some people who have emotional affairs and never even touch the person. There are people who are involved in emotional affairs who are in long distance type of relationships and they've never met, but yet their heart and their mind is with that person. And guess what? The way that you recover from an emotional affair is completely different than the way that you would recover from a one night stand. It's a completely different process. And so it's important to understand the difference between those two. So the third class of an affair is what we will call sexual compulsion. And that is when you have this strong, insatiable desire for sex. And it is a desire that is controlling you and it is ruling the day. And no matter how much sex you may or may not get from your partner, your one partner is just not enough. Either you need sex all day long or sex from multiple people, and so your partner could never give you what it is that you need. So obviously the recovery process from that is quite different than the previous two, because now you're dealing with an, a, an addiction, an uncontrollable desire that cannot be quenched. So the fourth type of an affair is what we would call the open-ended relationship. And in this type of an affair, typically you're dealing with a couple who have problems and issues in their relationship that have either A, gone unaddressed or B, unresolved. And over the course of time, things have gotten progressively worse. And when needs are not being met in the realm of your relationship, you either unconsciously or consciously step outside of that relationship to get those needs met by someone else. So no matter what type of an affair it may be, whether it is the one night stand, emotional entanglement, sexual compulsion, or an open-ended relationship, it is important to define and clarify which class it is. Because the recovery process is gonna be very different once we've come up with that understanding. There is no one size fits all to healing a relationship that has been impacted by infidelity. So once you've clarified it, you can move to the next phase of the recovery process.